The moon is really pretty. Well, thank you for always finding the good. <laughs> you always find the good in the games I hate <laughs> and just nitpick the games I love. <laughs> What's that Dagrin's wearing? Shut up! <laughs> Alrighty. This is it. This gotta be it. The true finale to a boy and his blob. In Hopefully. the last part, we supposedly fell the Emperor Blob. Returned home. Blob was popped, and then our tears brought him back to life and allowed him to turn into this awesome marshmallow golem. So now, we just eradicate the remaining black blobs and, I don't know, send Blob home? Like, what's the goal here? That's the thing, I don't, like, we, I don't know. We saved the kingdom, we freed the blobs. What is this? The moon is really pretty. Well, thank you for always finding the good. <laughs> you always find the good in the games I hate <laughs> and just nitpick the games I love. <laughs> What's that Dagrin's wearing? Shut up! <laughs> I mean, boy's outfit looks nice. I should hope so. He's been That's wearing the damn thing the whole time. You know what else? He doesn't really use the backpack unless that's where all the jelly beans are. Yeah. <laughs> there, you die. Pop that little bird. <laughs> I like that he like fell over first. There's another chest up there. Oh no. Oh please no, I don't want to do this over again. Alright. Oh. More good news. What? I only have the balloon, the golem, the hole, and the ladder. Uh. It's the end of the goddamn game. Just give me all of them. Let me experiment and have fun my own way. Yeah. Well, that happened. <laughs> I was like, so what does this mean? <laughs> it means another boy died. <laughs> Number 399! I love that Blob was just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> just like, there goes another boy. Yeah, I think the ladder, and then the ladder. It's okay, I didn't destroy it this time. Blob. Are those motherfucking spikes up there? Can hey. I just goddamn have something? Oh, it doesn't count, good. Thank it you. might be like moss. Yeah, I'll take it. Ta-da! Da -da -da. All right. Now let's rock and roll. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Uh. And I'm all out of bubble gum. I'd say jelly beans, but that'd be a lie. Uh. I'm here to kick ass and chew je chew jelly beans. I got plenty of jelly beans. Endless supply of jelly beans. Here's for eating the last boy. Just like Blob has an uh, endless supply of boys. Oh my god, it's so funny. They're just like genetically engineered in a warehouse. Uh, you get to live. Bye! <laughs> Toodles! That blob's like, I did it! The black blob's like, my whole existence is just jumping and splatting the boy. I know! If there's no boy to splat, what's my existence? He's having an existential crisis. Okay, so... That'll be a new Fox show, since Disney owns Fox. Ah! It's allowed to be a little darker, but not too much darker. Exactly. I mean, I'm impressed and proud of Disney for putting the Deadpool movies and Logan on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Because those are rated R pictures. And, like, there was a huge push for those movies to begin with. Because, like, even Fox was like, Mmm. Mmm. And they finally caved, and then they're like, Hit Prince Money! Yeah. Let's make another! Uh. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy that I live in the timeline where, like, adult cartoons are getting a resurgence, and not, yeah. like, the vulgar adult cartoons, more of the, the Blood of Zeus. Yeah. The Witcher... Blood of the Wolf? Night Nightmare, of the wolf? Nightmare of the White Nightmare Wolf. Nightmare of the White Wolf, yeah. 
Whew, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Not as much of a tongue twister as unhappy vampires of whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the book that I'm that I read. Yeah, that you recently. It was finished. like the unintelligible, unexciting adventures of Fred the Vampire Accountant. <laughs> I just heard that and I was just like, why? Because it's a comedy. It's like it's a dark comedy book. What, what's the acronym for that? Is it like a clever acronym? No. Where like you put it together and it spells like tofu or something? <laughs> no, like, I, don't ah! think, I don't think so. All right, so we did the one level. We got another level. Please, God, tell me this isn't the whole world. Like, hey, God forbid you end on a high note. Yeah. I was actually somewhat happy when I destroyed the Emperor and his crown fell off. But no. I mean, already the novelty of this robot is wearing thin. Yeah, like, I was going to say, okay. it's already like, can we just like get it, get it over with? Like, Yeah, like one level is fine enough. Can we just roll the credits? I don't know. This is just learning what not to do in your video game. Yeah. Towards the end, if you want like super powerful things, get that adrenaline rush so you can just have the feeling of destroying all the monsters that gave you trouble. Yeah. And then maybe like and one then more just boss, end it. or just end it. Yeah. Don't stretch out into more platforming challenges and puzzles and stuff yeah. like that. Nobody cares. Just. And it just keeps going and going. And oh boy, more chests. Yeah. So that means three more chests I have to collect. Well, now two. Yeah, this, like, it's just, don't do this. Yeah, developers don't do this. When you, when you have your final boss, either do one of a few things. Number one, have like Blob Resurrect, you get the robot, and you do, 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 do I could see thing. like one level where you yeah. can just plow through and it's like, yes, like the satisfaction of every yeah, enemy no that gave chest, you trouble. No puzzles. And you then just, just like. through and then you send Blob home. Yeah. Or as you're escaping, the remnants of the emperor chases you down and you have one final battle on like the rocket or something. Yeah. Like that could be a little more acceptable. Sounds frustrating, but acceptable because it's like one after the other. At this point, I'm just like, I just want the credits to roll. Yeah, I just, I think that this was poorly plotted. I still stand by, there was all this attention to the details and the animation. Yeah. And the graphics. And very little into the actual game. The yeah. controls. Well, I mean, that's what happened with Rayman. Yes. It was beautiful. It sounded beautiful. Like the idea was there, it. but it was just well, all these crazy things that they, yeah, like you said, they didn't test it. And then, like, the only way to win is to cheat. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's normal, because, like, even Nintendo was guilty of this back in the day of, like, everyone in the office became familiar with, like, the bosses and the levels and stuff, so they knew what to do. Yeah. But especially, like, people overseas... They didn't they know just what to like, do. Oh! Huh. I didn't anticipate that. So, like, it's common. It happens. See, like, I could see as soon as he gets the robot doing something like this, where it's flat, there is no platforming, you just well, go through, like was, plow through everyone. The All the monsters were there. And yeah. I was just plowing through and it felt good. Yeah, when you're just like, like, that's yeah, right, motherfucker. Fuck you. But, hit me. Kill me in one hit. Yeah, but now it's just like, you're right, the novelty is gone. And I'm just like, okay, like, how much longer? Yeah, really. Like, for me, I would have cut all this out and would have just had, like, one big splurge through the enemies, send Blob home, yeah. all the credits. Do you think the controls boy is holding on to our Blob's teeth? <laughs> Could be. Hang on, let me adjust your molars. Yeah. Like, he's just like, I see you have two canines here. Because, like, I get it. With more chess means more challenge levels. I just don't care. Yeah. I think that's the like I don't people care about the extra challenges. People want to play the challenges if they want to play the game, but when you're like dying for the game to be over, fuck those challenge levels. Mm -hmm. No one gives a shit. Oh, now what? 
You mean the level's still not over? Oh, Jesus I think they were nice enough to give me a trampoline this time. They gave me one extra bean for this level. How nice of them. Eh. Just punch him right in the face. I'm glad I got this game cheap. <laughs> yeah. That is the one, like, assuring thing. It's like, imagine if I had to, like, spend through the expensive case on a game like this. Yeah. I would not be happy. Uh. And, like, that's the thing, because, like, nostalgia overrules quality. What just happened? All right. This is something that I have to get off my chest. Another reason I don't like this game, there's a lot of glitches. It looks like it, yeah. Because, like, now Boy, Boy's, Boy's gone. Boy's just gone. Boy's gone, and I have to start the level over. I can't get him back. Have you seen, with the exception of maybe, like, clipping through a wall, another game on this show so far that had this many glitches? No. I didn't think so. Like, glitches that stop your progress? Normal glitches are just like, oh, that looks weird. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Like, that's floating where it shouldn't be floating. Yeah. And you move the fuck on. Or you, you like, your arm goes this through a wall or something. This is what is called a game-breaking yeah. glitch, to where I have to restart now, and I'm already pissed off. Yeah. And it's just like... God forbid, this This is what I meant when I showed you the credits and I said, I wish this game ended on a high note. It did not. Yeah. Because this shit happened. Well, I mean, it's it's similar to like um, Adventure Time, Pirates of the Enchiridion. Where okay, it was maybe like, that I game don't, has more gl glitches. Where I was like, I don't understand like why I can't do this. And then you were playing it and it was glitching out. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so it's not me. It is the game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think this has the second most glitches. Although I did propose games on the show. Yeah. That still stands. Yeah, yeah no, that because that one we were just playing to play it. Mm -hmm. But um, Yeez didn't have any glitches that no. I saw. Paper Mario didn't have any glitches that I saw. And like, there's been a handful of glitches. And like the one where like he was just stuck with yeah. the ball a few episodes ago. Yeah. That one was frustrating. And, but like that one at least makes sense. I was like in a position where like my character got stuck. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck happened just now with boy just being like, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. So like now I'm just like beyond broken, beyond exhausted. And just like. Still having to go. Like. Still being like, well, I don't want to quit because this is the end of the game. Let's do this again. Yeah. But like, even games I don't like, I like to end them on a high note. Just to be like, all right. Eh, at least ended where I was just like, neat, cool, but yeah, to bye. End, but to end with a glitch. Yeah. To end with a glitch is just like, it eliminates that one sliver of maybe I'll try it again. Because I'll think of that glitch and be like, nah. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that again. No, thank you. And it's also like having to restart so far back. Yeah. And I gotta get the chest again because I didn't clear the level. I restarted the level. But they were nice enough to give me the trampoline. Whee. Oh, boys like I'm saying this shit. Even Shantae didn't have that many glitches. I don't recall seeing any glitches in Shantae. No, and like Shantae, you think it it, uh, it it would have more glitches because it has like sequence breaking Metroid mechanics to where yeah. you you can tackle the levels as they open up. You can go back and right. use the abilities you got to pretty much break the levels. You can jump higher than yeah. probably the game intends. You can cross further. You can destroy things. You can literally break the levels as you experiment with these pirate weapons. So if I like went somewhere I wasn't supposed to or the de I go out of bounds to the designer's um, intention. intention, I'd be like, all right, that makes sense. But it surprisingly didn't happen. Whereas um, that's something speedrunners do in like, let's just say one of the Metroid games as an example. Mm -hmm. They know where to jump so they can bypass like the majority of the game and cheat past like the programming to get right into like the final area. See, in my opinion, like, I don't think that's a speed run. You didn't play the game. You skipped the game. Right. 
That's like, oh, I can watch this three hour movie in five minutes. I'm just going to skip everything in the middle, watch the first chapter and watch the last chapter. Boom, I speed ran that movie. Mm -hmm. No, you fucking didn't. You skipped everything in the middle. Because <laughs> like, there's also speed runs. I won't specify and like, I don't want to do it, but like apparently like in some games, if you go through a door backwards, it confuses the code and warps you to the end of the game. See, I just like, I don't think that's a speed run. A speed run, I feel like should be uh, you played the game so much or you got really good at it and you, went you were to end. without taking damage, without dying, with just doing everything you were supposed to do mm -hmm. the right way. Okay. Like without making a mistake. Okay. To me, that's what I thought a speed run was. And I was like, wow, that's really impressive. And then as soon as you were like, oh, no, they just like find glitches and skip the middle. Well, fuck that. That's not a speed run. That's you being a troll hacker. Like, that's not impressive to me. I'm not like, oh, wow, I'm so impressed that you skipped the entire middle part of the game. Right. Like, that's not an impressive thing to watch. Well, how do you feel about, like, warp pipes then? Because it's in the original Mario. If you can find hidden warp pipes, that'll be like, okay, takes you to world four, you skip world three. Like, that's actually in the game. The designers yeah. are just like, this is a secret. You can, or the warp whistle in Mario Brothers 3, where you use the item and it can skip a level that's giving you trouble. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I'm stuck in world four, stage three. Use the warp whistle. Boop. Hmm. I feel like if it was something that the designers put into the game, mm -hmm. then fine. Okay. Because it was intended for you to find it. But like these people that are like, if you walk through a door backwards, it confuses the code. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you cheated. Yes. Like, sorry, I'm not a proud cheater, question yeah. mark? Like, I'm just not impressed whenever it's like, oh, I can do this yeah. fast because I cheated. I hear about speedruns, but I'm not crazy about them. The uh, the people I actually are proud of are the completionists. Oh yeah. That almost happened again. I got real scared. <sighs> something about going down there, he just like warps down or something. It was weird. But uh, I got the chest. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Blob, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, I mean, I think I would be really impressed if someone played from, like, beginning to end without making a mistake and doing it quickly. See, that's not like, even a completion. To me... Completions is just how well, long they, it take to, yeah, to get everything. They finish the game in its entirety. Yeah. Um, Every collectible. Yeah. But no, I'm, like, still stuck on speedrunners where it's, like, again, if you could do the whole thing without a mistake and it takes, you know, the shortest amount of time, that's impressive. I'm not mm -hmm. impressed by cheaters. Sorry. So like even tool assisted speed runs to where Oh! Hey look, it's the crown. We'll continue this thought. Hey, remember when I said he's like Cthulhu? Hey, he looks like Zoidberg. Yeah. So this is the true <laughs> final battle. <laughs> Where's Zoidberg? Oh I don't know, he just sand crabbed out of here. Alright, so what we got? He's gonna do that attack again. Blabloosh. Well, come on, buddy. It's a blood moon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, so we stun him with his own blasts. And he's stunned now, so I'll bet he we looks so a... sad. But we're gonna beat him up. Maybe if you weren't slaving all these blobs, I'd feel sorry for you. <laughs> but also, I'm so mad at this game, I'm just gonna take my anger out on you! <laughs> oh, okay, I guess that means he's invulnerable now. Okay. Oop, careful. Alrighty. Oop. Second verse, same as first. Oh, shit! Higher, higher! Okay, cool. That was me cracking my Fuck! knuckles. Oh. I didn't get the shield quick enough. Dink, 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 dink. All right, we're back here. Eh. So here we go. So here we go. In truth, I would have done the dash to all the monsters after Blob becomes a robot and then just cut right to this. Yeah. I, this is the final confrontation. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have done is just get rid of everything in the middle and just like... 
mad dash. You get to plow through all of these enemies and feel awesome, and then that you just way, run right into we him. We can cut out the stupid glitch yeah. <laughs> that nobody likes. So we're like, hey, level doesn't need to be that long anyway. Cut it out. That's what I'd be like if I was designing the game. I'd be like, oh, I keep getting this glitch. You'd be like, cut it out. Yeah. Just go. Like, I'll just get rid of it. Right to there. That's why it always helps to have fresh eyes on your project. I also feel like it's always a good idea to have someone that doesn't fully understand look at it. Yeah. Because that lets you know, is it something well, that only you get? You elemental Isles and yeah. oh, Milo and so on and yeah. so forth. It's just like, okay. I've designed it, so I know how I want it to go. Right. But is it doing what I designed it to do? Well, that's do? the same thing that, like, whenever I'm writing stories, I'm like, hey, can you read this? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Because, like, I hear it and I see it in my head, but is that translating onto paper? Right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're team. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you had me go through how many glitches? <laughs> Glitchy, 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 goo, goo. I don't know what that was. I apologize. For the... Careful. Careful. Awkward. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> I still think he looks like Zoidberg. Um, I definitely think they were going for a kind of Cthulhu design, though. Probably. Because it's... God damn it, again. They were going for Cthulhu and they hit Zoidberg. <laughs> yep. Zoidberg, worry? No, i be happy. So since we're doing this boss battle again, um, tool-assisted speedruns, that's where they kind of, like, slow down the game or something. So that the way that do, like, the, the way that jumps. I feel, if it was in the design, uh -huh. like if the creators put something in where it's like, cool, if you find this, mm -hmm. then you can do it. Uh -huh. But if it's something that the player mm -hmm. has created or has bypassed within the game coding, mm -hmm. then no. Okay. So it's kind of like... There's a whole community that disagrees with you, but... I get it. Well, because, again, like, I it's not impressive it. to me that you go in and you change the coding or you confuse the coding or you bypass it. Yes. So that you can do these extra things to go through quickly. Mm -hmm. You're cheating. Yes. That's not... You're cheating. Yep. And if you could just own up and be like, I cheat through the game and look what I discovered. Yeah. Cool. But you didn't But speed no, you're like, oh, I, I completed this game so fast. No, you fucking cheated. Yes. You... <laughs> Like, but again, if it's like, oh, I'm trying to think of an example. So like Pokemon Snap, the original. Okay. It's like you get so far and then they give you a button. Like if you reach a certain amount of points, you get a button that you can make your car move faster. Yeah. There you go. Like, mm -hmm. so if you can find it or you get certain things that the creator put in for that purpose, awesome possum. Awesome. But if you have to go in and manually break the game so that you can speed run, that's cheating, and I don't think that's impressive. Okay. Oh, jeez. Speaking of not impressive, I just gotta, I just gotta pose a threat to this damn guy. Uh, oh no! Fuck! Ah. I wasn't fast enough. Boy just drowned in slime. Oh, gee, what could it be? I'm already kind of over it. <laughs> <laughs> this boss is still not as bad as yeah. the puma or the bird, but it's just like, oh, wow. I kind of like the last battle. Yeah. This one's kind of like, well, again, it wouldn't bother me if you didn't have one hit kills in a boss fight sucks. Yeah. Because like. If I just took damage, I'm like, ah, fuck. And then i just continue the fight. Right. Now I gotta do the whole battle again. It's just like, God. I can't have anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. He couldn't turn into a robot because the platform was blocking him. Eh, who cares? He's in front of the platform. I thought he was, but oh, nah, waited too long. We missed it. We missed our window. Well, Blob. When I kill this guy, I'm gonna send you home, and don't you dare come back. I know. Is there a boy in his blob too? No. 
So there was the original for the Nintendo. And then the remake. And then this is like the remake of a boy and his blob. Yeah. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's it. And that's fine. Yeah. Like, if they made a two, they'd have to fix punch in the face, punch a in lot the face. of these things. Like, either get rid of the one hit See, it makes me wonder because, like... Blob more controllable? I read a meme about that literally a few minutes ago before we started this part. Give me all the beans. Um, where it was like, instead of remaking movies that did well, remake movies that didn't do well, that had good ideas and mm -hmm. good bones, but poor execution. Yeah. So it makes me wonder, like, would A Boy and His Blob 2 be a good idea, or does the first one put such a bad taste in your mouth that, like... You wouldn't want to play it well, here's a second the thing. one. A lot of people really love this game. And, like, I can't deny that. I can't be like, you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, just they approached it differently, or just they were so absorbed by the visuals that yeah. this stuff didn't bother them. And again, they bypassed the challenges. I feel like they you. They were recording. Yeah, I was just going to say, I feel like even with that, you'd have more. I still feel like the glitches would have pissed you off, but you would have had more fun. Yeah. Without the stress of recording. Mm hmm. I love the blob just like hopped over. Oh shit. Uh oh. Dang it. Bean. Hurry, hurry. That'll work. Phew. Made it. All right, so usually after this, he's gonna fire that energy. Let's just get the shield ready now. There we go. Now just punch him in the face. No, wait, maybe that. Oh, okay, he didn't get stuck that time. Whatever. Rock and roll, kid. Rock and roll. Let's do it. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. So, like, how long until he's dead? There. Okay. We got him. Right. And now he's gone for good. He melted that time. Where are you going, Blob? We're doing the victory dance. Blob. Blob. Boy's like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> So, uh, what do we do about this poison water? I know. <laughs> They're like, uh, so there's some pollution over there. Blob's like, I leave your planet now. Uh, you gonna do something about the pollution? Uh, Farewell, boy. Thank you for your help. Blob you just puts my up. world. Blob just puts up a sign like, no swimming. <laughs> there you go. All right. So here we go. Goodbye, world. To the stars, boy. To the stars. Ugh. I'm gonna pan back down and Blob's just not gonna be there. <laughs> Boy's gonna be a teenager. Ah! Nope. Nope, he knows what has to happen. <laughs> that is cute. Mm -hmm. It's like a puppy. Yep. Goodbye, Blob. Here's one final jelly bean. Like, the animation is so good. Yeah. The game is so not. Yeah. They really should have just made this a cartoon. Farewell! I don't think I'd have a single negative if it was a cartoon. It would be wholesome. I'm sure it would just be, like, nice and short and sweet. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Blob is gone. And Boy is alone. And the woods yep. by himself. Where's this boy's parents? With the polluted water. And the pollution. Yep. Uh, so I guess uh, the water's polluted now. Surrounded by a bunch of dead bodies. So there we they go. just killed everyone. That's a boy and his blob. Final thoughts? Uh, <laughs> beautiful. We try. And that's, I mean, this is a game where I'm like, at least it's pretty. Yeah, at <laughs> least it's pretty. Because it is a beautiful game. It is one of the most stunning visuals. Yeah. Um, even the music's good. And, like, the animation, top notch. And you can definitely tell, like, the care they put into the animation. Yeah. I can't say the same about the gameplay. I don't think they knew what they were doing. I think they had neat ideas, and they just, like, kept smacking them against each other yeah. until it worked. And it was just like, there we go. But, like, a lot of glitches came through, which spoiled the experience. A lot of times where boy Blob just wasn't listening, that soiled the experience. Yeah. A lot of levels where I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll use this bean. I don't have this bean. 
hurt the experience. Yeah. So as a whole, this just unfortunately ended as a miserable experience for me. And I will not be revisiting this game. I hope someone found some enjoyment of this playthrough. And if you didn't, that's cool. That guy's last name is Foot. Yeah, Stephen Foot. <laughs> Sorry. He's going to put his foot up my ass for not liking his game. <laughs> well, it's like, because I was looking at the art animators and everything, and it it's like, they all came first. But, like, look how much, so, like, even in the credits, it, like, lets you know, but, like, all these artists, but, like, technical director, one person. Yeah. It shows. Yeah. Animation and backgrounds, Top Peg, Animation and Creative Studio Inc. So, like, a whole studio was behind the background yeah. of the animation. Yeah. And, like, it was overseen by Sean Valesco, who was probably looking at all the aspects, the story, yeah. the music. But, like, your actual game developers... There was just There a weren't handful, that yeah. many. And I think it could have definitely benefited from, like, a bigger team. So there we go. A boy and his blob. It is what it is. That's, there's all the blobs we They saved. look like candy. <laughs> what oh, is just that one bright red one? These little gumdrops. They're all pastel, and then there's just, like, one bright red one. Yeah. I don't know about him. I don't trust that one. It's he the emperor in disguise. <laughs> he keeps hiding behind everyone else, like, please don't. Please don't look at me. Beep. <laughs> look like a bunch of peeps. They do. They're cute. So, yeah, look at this. Background artist, cleanup yeah. and coloring, artwork, effects. So, here we go. Like, the engine and the tools. We got one, two, three. Yeah. And one additional programmer. One level designer. Yeah, one. So, like, there you go. You have, like, this big team. The voice actor's last name is Pomegranate. Aw. One tester. Eh. Michael Flores somewhere out there is like, did I do the right thing? <laughs> and then, like, we had a couple other testers. But even still, if you look at, like, the credits of other games and you look at the testers Oh, section, yeah, there's tons. Like, it's a big deal. So, yeah, unfortunately, the gameplay dragged this down into just, like, uh, unfortunate experience. See, there are a lot of kid testers. Well, what does that those, mean, though? Those were all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> all the boys that were sacrificed on this journey. Like, it's sad because I can tell this was a passion project. Oh, yeah. I can yeah. tell, like, they really put their heart and soul into this game. But the developer side, the, it's a game, so I want to play it. Yeah. It's just like, ugh. All right, so enough of me bitching. That's a boy in his blob, everyone. We'll see you guys on the next playthrough, and I promise it will be a more enjoyable experience. If you manage to trudge through this miserable playthrough, I salute you, soldier. We'll see you in the next game. Final thoughts, my dear. Toodles. That'll do. <laughs>
Calm down. 